morning everybody. Welcome to day 25 of Craftober. It is quarter to nine in the morning. I've got the usual morning voice. You'll just have to ignore it. I'm fine. <laughs> it sounds worse than it is, but I'm fine. Um, yeah, it's quarter to nine in the morning. I've got quite a busy morning this morning, so I may come on now and then not be back till this afternoon. So I've got, I've also got hair in my mouth. I don't know how. Got quite a busy morning this morning. Um, but, yay. So, none of you liked my colour choices for my rocket tea. <laughs> there was quite a number of comments going, no. So, I'm going to have a look at it over the weekend. Um, I quite liked it, but I know what you mean. The grey does distract from the nice brightness of the colours that I've got in. Um but it's okay, it's okay. I'm going to have another look at it because what I might actually do is, it was, I'm going to admit, it was a little bit annoying only putting four rows of the grey in because I have, when I did it with two colours, you can carry the yarn. It's absolutely fine. Once I put three colours in, I'm not comfortable carrying the yarn that distance. Um... So with the grey and only putting four rounds in, I thought this is going to get really annoying because I'm just constantly weaving in ends. So I may take that out. I may change my colours up completely. Who knew? Who knows? Um, but yeah, I do know what you mean. It's absolutely fine. Um, sometimes colours look great when you look at them, but when you actually start knitting them, they don't look as good as what you thought they would. Um, and that's the way things go sometimes. So I'm not I'm probably not going to get a chance to look at it today because I'm not winding any yarn. I'm going to look in my box. If I've got some colours that will work in my box, I'll use those. I, I don't... I think it is... I'm stuttering now. I think it either needs all speckles or all solids. I don't... I, th I think it's more the solids going in that's throwing it rather than the actual grey. But... I have got a really light grey and I could put white in it, but I really don't want to put white in it. Um, but I think it's more, it needs, if it's going to be striped, it needs striping with all speckle yarns. But I'll have a look. The problem that I've got is I've dyed up some yarn for the shop and you're not going to see it till next week because it's not dry. But there's going to be two sets of it going in um, and it's perfect for a rocket tee. There's three 100 gram skeins and I keep looking at that thinking that would be perfect for a rocket tee but <laughs> apparently I'm not allowed to steal any more yarn <laughs> so I'm not going to do but th there is some yarn going in um, but yeah I'm not, I'm not going to steal any more yarn apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I know you already get your eyes on it. Well, no, because that brown one, I did dye one for me, so I will be taking one of those. You haven't seen that one yet, I don't think, either. Um, anyway, so, yeah, we've got... I've just got to get some cleaning jobs done before I do anything this morning because I haven't had chance. I've done the kitchen. You've done the kitchen? Oh, thank I you, darling. Um, I haven't had a chance to get it done this week. The bathroom really needs cleaning. Downstairs toilet needs cleaning, upstairs needs hoovering um, because Stuart was fighting yesterday and there's fur on the stairs because he's a little monkey. <laughs> Not that you'd believe it looking at him right now, little cutie boy. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I need to go get some cleaning jobs and you don't want to see me doing that, that's quite boring. <laughs> And then I'll probably have a look at the Rocket Tea over the weekend and reassess the colours because I'm really not far into it. I can absolutely change them. It's fine. And I do have a confession. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. I'm going to be honest. I was not going to say anything. <laughs> I felt so lost last night. I just needed to do some cross stitch. So I did start... Um, it's one of the gnomes. I absolutely love this designer. The designer is Favourite Gnome on Etsy. And I've done the Bumblebee one. 
and the Love Heart one. I've got the British one. I've got the pattern for the British one to do. And I had the gnome pattern. This is the autism gnome. I haven't got... Oh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring it up on Etsy because you'll see... I can't show you the pattern on markup because it's not um, a photograph. It's the actual pattern. But I can go to Etsy when I find Etsy. Where is Etsy? Um, and I'll show you what on there. It's really, really nice. And obviously with Harry being autistic and Josh being autistic, the autism ones mean a lot to us. So I'm going to show you it. Um, purchases, that's it. Uh, this one. <clears throat> So this is the, there we go, you can see, that's the gnome. So I just wanted something to, to stitch, so I did, I started it. It's only a really small stitch, it's only like four and a half thousand stitches, so it's really tiny. Um, but I just, I just wanted something to stitch. I'm not going to make excuses for it. <laughs> I just felt lost, I had to have something. So I started that last night. And I will do some, oh, sorry about that. I'll do some more on that later. So, right, I'm going to go crack on with some boring cleaning jobs. If any of you want to come over and do them for me, that would be amazing. <laughs> I'm sure you all have your own to do. And I'll be back in a little bit. We're back. Hello, welcome to this. Day of, what day is it? 25. 25. We are in the car again, as you know. As you can see, of course. <laughs> We've been stuck in traffic lights. Yeah. Somebody decides, nah, we're going to go hit the moors. So if you do see out the window, I will turn the camera around and give you a lovely misty view. <laughs> it's really foggy up here. Or foggy, misty, foggy. It never foggy. shows up on the camera though, does it, ever? No. Well, it will do when we get like, a little bit higher. Yeah. Some of you would have seen... We had to break out of the traffic wall, completely stuck in a traffic jam. Yeah, so we decided to go into the moors. It's a lot, it's a lot more easier. But if you don't know the roads, it's a lot difficult for a lot of drivers. But if you know the roads, you're all right. <laughs> They're building new houses, and there's been traffic lights on the main road for the past year, and they're going to be there till spring next year. And it's just causing massive tailbacks. Yeah. Pure carnage. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no. And if you don't know about cyclists. <laughs> I don't mind cyclists on the road. I don't have a problem with it unless you're on this road, on this hill, and you're behind a cyclist. It's dangerous. It's dangerous because this is the, this is the moor roads. And the moor roads, you can't really... You can't see. No, you can't see around the corners. And being behind the cyclist in first gear knackers your clutch. clutch. <laughs> Yeah, as we're going up and up, you can probably yeah, you can probably, yeah, you can tell on the sides. It's 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 getting more misty and more foggy. And this is where you have to be more careful for cyclists because you can't see them. And the sheep. Huh? And the sheep. And the sheep. Oh. Oh, man. I was late. Well foggy. Yeah, you can't you have see to turn the So I'm going to turn the camera it. around now. So I hope you're all having a great day.
Yeah, it was so misty. That was very, very fun to drive up there. <laughs> that was really foggy. I don't know if it came off on the camera, but at one point there was a huge um, van and you couldn't see it until you were right on it. But yeah, it's just where you're going more into like a warmer climate, that's all it is. I love it when it's like that up there. That's why the traffic like end is so busy because people have avoided this. But like I say, if you know the roads, you're okay. Um, but yeah, so thanks for today. Just gonna, we are just nipping out. The reason why we're out is <laughs> we're just nipping out to get something to eat. Um, and yeah, I'm mean, low carbs. I think low carbs today. I think for me. But if it's date night tonight, then I make up for the carbs later. <laughs> well, we'll see how we see how the day pans out. Uh, and see how we feel. <laughs> we've not been well this week. <laughs> we'll see how we feel. Um, I don't know we've continued vlogging. No, I don't know either. But I hope you're all having a lovely day. Um, so, on that wonderful, beautiful note, stay safe everybody, take it easy, and of course we'll catch you very soon. Bye. You see me? Okay, I'm going to look at yarn. Ruby, you're in the way, darling. Come sit here. Come sit here. Right. Oh no, my box has got a break in it. That's not good. Right, I'm going to look in this yarn box here. Ooh. And we're going to choose some yarn. And, well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Oh. Okay. So, you'll have to excuse the dog. She's licking her paw. <laughs> right, one sec. These are our options from yarn that is already cracked into. I quite like this as an option. Um, I also quite like this one. I love this one, but I don't think that will match what we've got. Love that one, but that matches that. Oh, I could do a rocket in them. Ooh, hang on a cotton picking minute. One. I could do that as a rocket tea. Should we change the colours completely? Let me see if I've got another one, because I know that I haven't got quite enough with two. That's an option. Oh, sorry if I'm moving the camera. I think I've got another one of that pink one somewhere. Uh, hang on. Right, okay, so these are your options. <laughs> I'll try and cast it on this weekend. You can leave me in the comments what you want to see. So I've got this beautiful yarn, which is like, it's not showing up on the camera. It is red and green, but like a really pinky red. It's beautiful. I have two of those. I need three yarns for the Rocket Tea. So I have those two. If I, if I am saying if I, I don't know where I'm going with that because two on the own is not enough. But I also have this one, but this is really gold and red. It's a lot deeper um, of a colour. I have this beautiful green one. I have this gorgeous pink and green, which is one of my favourite yarns. And I've, I've been saving this one for something special, which I thought would look really nice with that. And possibly one. Right, so I've got A, B, C. I think A, B, C works. We've also got D. This is much darker. It doesn't look it, but it's more blue, green. E and F. I think... I 
I think I actually think that to be perfectly honest with you what do you think to that because that green is in there and in there the cream from the middle one is in the this one I actually think that do you think that do you think It's a shame that I haven't got two of one of these because I actually really like that. But if I'm striping it, I'm probably going to run out of one of these. Ooh. I wonder how I can make that work. I wonder how I can do that. Unless I did it more colour block rather than striped. More colour blocked. Do you know what I mean? So double the amount of stripes on this colour and have... A smaller one because I really like that. I really do. That's really like country garden. Do you know what I mean? I think let me know your thoughts. I am going to wait for you to tell me in the comments what you fancy. Although I really like this one. But that would look really nice just with pink. Hang on a minute. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Um... Obviously, the colours that I've been using, I still like them. Oh, do you know what? I really like them. Right, I'm going to tell you one of two things is, is going to happen here. I'm either going to listen to you over the weekend and on Monday, this is going to be really keeping you in suspense, you are going to see... Um, Stop licking your paw, the colours that you've chosen. Oh, I'm going to carry on with this because I really like it. I just think it's fun and cheerful. I do. I do. I wish I hadn't have only done four rows of the grey though. But I could always do 10 rows on the next one. It doesn't matter. I'm going to have a think about it. Let me know your thoughts on my colours. I may end up making two rocket tees at this point. I may end up frogging that one and listening to what you say. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> but let me know in the comments. It's only just after two. So I've made myself a coffee. I've got a blanket out because I'm absolutely frozen. Um, and I need to nip to the chemist because we've run out of ibuprofen. <laughs> I meant to get some when we were at Morrison's this morning um, and I didn't, so I'm going to have to nip to the chemist at some point because Danny's going to need it later on. I know he is. He says he's, he says he doesn't, but he will do tonight. So that doesn't shut till six, so I've got plenty of time. But I've stuck a chicken in the oven as well. And you know what I'm having for tea? Warm chicken sandwiches. How nice does that sound? I'll be back in a little bit anyway for an evening chat. Hello everybody. It is now nearly four o'clock. So I'm going to come on and end the vlog. Um, it's actually, you know, quite dark now. It's The nights are really drawing in. I'm not sure when the clocks go back. Let me quick Google that because... Oops. Twenty seventh of October, so that is Sunday this weekend. Yeah, that's this weekend. 
So the clocks go back this weekend. Oh, it's going to be really dark and cosy. I love winter. I really do. Autumn and winter are my two favourite seasons. I just love it. So, oh, that's exciting. The clocks go back on Sunday. We don't have much planned for the weekend. We've got a little bit of work to do over the weekend, but nothing major, I don't think. A little bit of yarn dyeing, but nothing major. Um... So we have got a nice chilled out weekend planned. I believe football's on on Sunday as well. Is football on this Sunday? Yeah. Yeah, football's on Sunday. So Bert is over here. He's staring at me because I've got a chicken in the oven. He's been wandering around the house, meowing, carrying on because Bert goes nuts for chicken. Absolutely nuts for it. And he's just wandering round, meowing, and Bert never meows, ever. Bless him. So it's a really exciting week next week. We have got the shop update on Friday, which is the 1st of November. Um, I've got my new cell starting on Friday. I've got clue two of the Robin patchwork cell starting on Monday. Um, I have just had the... A pattern gifted to me which is knit vent 2024 um, my lovely friend bought it for me so that's really nice so that starts on Thursday the 7th of November so it's all very very exciting um, we have been asked about advent calendars and if we've got any spare as it stands now we don't but if I can, I will let you know next week because I may be able to go through. We do have spares, but not an entire advent calendar. So I may be able to go through and if they're an easy die, I can match it. Um, but I don't know. It depends which ones we haven't got. Um so I'll have to just let you know next week. But the vlogs end on Thursday next week. That is the end of Craftober then. And I'm not sure whether I'm just going to have a little bit of time off in November. Um, I'll, again, I'll let you know next week. I just need a little bit of a break at the moment. Um, so rather than coming back for the weekly vlogs, I may just have November off. So Because we've got... A really busy month in November um, we're going to be doing mystery boxes for Christmas which go on sale on the 1st of December so November's going to be really busy with those so I may actually just take a little bit of a break I've never taken a break from YouTube I don't think ever I don't think I have um, and then, of course, I'm coming back for Vlogmas anyway, so I may take a little bit of a break. I'm not 100% sure, but I will let you know next week. So I hope that you've all had a lovely day, whatever you've been up to, crafty-wise, work-wise, whatever you've been doing. I hope you had a lovely day today. I hope Jack's at the window now. Honestly, it's you are up, down, up, down, up, down to the cats, bless them constantly. You see, I'd get a cat flap, but they wouldn't use it. They just would not use it. I know so many people that have had a cat flap put in and the cats won't use it. And I know mine won't. They'd be stubborn about it. They'd be like, no, I'm not using it. Let me in through the window. Honestly, what year was it? One year, because the lounge windows, you've got a window at each side that opens. And the cats always use one particular window. We had a problem. Was it last year? I think it was last year. The catch went on the window, called out the window man, but ours are really old windows and, it, and they said, I need to order the part that it needs, but you couldn't actually shut it. He said, to, in order to make it safe, I'm going to have to drill it closed. So they had to drill the window closed. Anyway, it was the window that the cats always used. And it took about two weeks to get this part and get the window fixed. And for that two weeks, the, you'd open the other window and the cats just would not use it. You had to open the back door because they wouldn't come in through the other window. 
<laughs> so funny. They really are. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I hope you've all had a fabulous day, whatever you've been doing. And I will be back on Monday for day 28 of Craftober. So I will see you then. Bye, everybody.